Good morning, everyone. Got check engine on my Perk Miner M2 light on. Check the light. It says something with the coolant, coolant level or something. So I went to check the coolant level. I have a problem. I have oil in my coolant. So right now, I start the vehicle. I don't see any bubbles and I don't see any any water in the oils so it's probably not a head gasket I hope so so my next guess is gonna be oil cooler so it's located here behind the oil filter never done this job before so I'll be doing it today and show you what I did and I hope my video will help you guys and I will learn myself if it's the problem. I hope it's the problem because that's the most common problem on this ISB Cummins engines. First, we're going to take the air filter box off. It will be number 13. got this one off there's another one here we have to remove that one then remove this bracket remove the box then unplug the sensor and remove that whole that clamp that's hard to see you will have to remove that clamp right there right here and remove that hose from the tube the filter box off looking what's we're gonna what's gonna be next probably have to remove the alternator AC compressor this is gonna be on my way to the uh, water line coolant line uh, with the AC compressor I hope if we're gonna remove this mount and this mount I will be able to put over turbo hose tube so we don't have to lose the any freon I hope that's how it's gonna work but we will see then we will have to remove the oil filter and behind the oil filter that's where the oil cooler located We remove the cone hose that one we have to remove after we can take the alternator off and the AC compressor off there's gonna be another I don't know knot to remove this metal tubing next we're gonna do we have to remove the belt to remove the belt we have to use the half inch wrench and push it to the left and we we'll get the belt loose after that we can take it off okay so we got the belt off Next, we're gonna remove this bracket right here. Three bolts, one, two, three. Then we have to remove the alternator. And after alternator, we're gonna remove the AC compressor. And I will show you if it's possible to take it to this side of the frame. So we don't have to, we may push forward. So we don't have to lose any freon. 
I hope not. Worst case scenario, we have to recharge the Freon. This is your positive for the alternator. If your batteries are not disconnected, you have to be very careful with this cable because you can short it. So, or disconnect the battery or find a way to protect this to be shorted. In my case, I'm gonna remove the batteries just to be safe. I'm sorry, not to remove the batteries, disconnect the batteries. At least positive. Battery located on the driver's side under the cab. Right here. So you have to remove these bolts to get to the batteries. And the size is T30. It's like a star T30. Okay, guys, when you get to your batteries, you have the wrench number 14. Remove the negatives, both negatives. And just to be safe, that's like for the fog lights, but I'll remove it too. So, yeah, no negatives on the batteries. And that would it, it won't short your alternator so let's do this okay guys I have to remove the positive too because I don't know I check for the power on the alternator the power is still coming so I guess to be safe I remove the positive now now we check for the power no power coming to the alternator so we're good we can remove that cable we're not gonna short anything to save the free on on the AC compressor we have to remove the turbo line the intercooler I don't know what they call this tubes so we have to remove this part the clamp and remove this clamp remove this cover the turbo input yeah turbo input so no dirt no oil nothing will go inside and after that I will make another video to show you if it's possible to put AC compressor on this side of the frame so we can work on the rest of the parts so we remove that tube right here there's an o-ring it's better to get a new one because this one was dry so I'm gonna install the new o-ring here we got this tube off you just put it on top like this we got this bracket off that's it now we have to I don't know if I'm gonna remove I'm not gonna remove this one so I'm just gonna work around it unbolt all this right here bolts and 10 millimeter or unscrew this oil line and let's remove this one and the oil 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 cooler behind it so we have to remove this line right here this is number 19 and this one is going to be number 21 so you have to kind of hold this one and push this one to your push up yeah push up then remove this line and that's it we have to remove this it's 10 millimeter remove all the bolts around it and the oil cooler behind this part right here cover i guess after that we have to clean everything go to the comments pick up new oil cooler install new gaskets oil cooler o-ring put everything together and we should be good to go okay got the cooler off be careful with the gasket it's really sharp cut my fingers <laughs> over the gloves so uh, take this off the gasket clean it everything with the razor blade clean the silicone from the gasket 